I did not want to make this video because I was scared of what the world would think. It wasn't easy getting to a place where I realized I needed to be making decisions for my life based on what I wanted to do. It's often the people who love you the most in your life that try to talk you out of doing things because they might think that it's too risky for you or it might create an unstable lifestyle for you. And while I love these people more than anything, I realized they just didn't see my vision. So what I wanted to do with my life was to become a phys ed teacher. This is the life goal that most of you know about me. I wanted to do this because when I was in high school I had a very low sense of self-esteem and a sense of self-worth and I really struggled in that time to figure out who I was as a person. I didn't have much confidence, I was pretty insecure and I did struggle to fit in. A lot of the problems that most of us go through in high school. Now I didn't really like sports up until that point. My whole family was very sports orientated, I was not. I liked to play my guitar and I liked to draw, I did not like to play sports. But I ended up taking one of the biggest leaps of faith that I had ever taken in my life up to that point and joined the high school football team. I was scared and nervous and I was completely clueless as to how the sport of football was played but I went and tried out anyway because I thought it was something that would make me more of a man and maybe just maybe make me a little bit more cool. So as I learned the sport and started developing into an athlete, I started to learn the values that came with the sport and I learned that these values that I learned in football were transferable into my life. It was at that point in my life that I learned that hard work pays off. You show up to practice, you do the drills, you put in the work, rain or shine, you become a better player, you become a better team. That there was growth in failing, you know, like no pain, no gain. The head coach on my team always emphasized these two words, integrity and toughness. It wasn't always about winning or losing, more about how you acted on the field and how you developed as a person. Because he wanted you to not just be a good athlete, but he wanted you to look out for your teammates in the hallways. He took the values of the sport off of the field. Those two words shaped me into who I was, and I took them around with me, and they were the, the roots that grew into making me who I am today. This head coach was also the head PE teacher at my high school. I don't think he was aware of the impact that his small daily involvement was having on my life. I remember we were playing baseball outside on the baseball diamond and I had just swung, hit the ball, and I was kind of dogging it to first base. I didn't really care that much about gym class. It was kind of fun because it was like easy, but I didn't really try that hard and it was also cool to not try that hard. So I was just kind of dogging it and then he said something to me along the lines of like, you know, he said, nice hustle, Clausen. And those words hit me so hard, they dug so deep into me and I just felt, at that moment, I felt so ashamed. Like I didn't care how cool or popular I was. I was just mostly disappointed in myself that I, I could have been giving an effort there. I could have been giving my all and I wasn't. I was just dogging it. And I felt like I let him down and I felt like I let myself down. And then I just decided to start trying harder in life and with that, came a new confidence and for the first time in my life I started to believe in myself and the potential that I had. Then comes my senior year in high school and everyone's trying to figure out what they want to do with their life. I thought that I had it figured out. I thought that I wanted to be a phys ed teacher because I wanted to have that same impact that my PE teacher had on me on other students. I wanted to help other students in high school that were struggling with that insecurity and finding themselves and I wanted to be there and be a part of it. So I pursued that in the best way that I knew how. Being a PE teacher was the only way that I knew. So I took the steps necessary in order to pursue this new dream of mine. I went to university and I spent the next few years of my life pursuing physical education working on a dual degree. So working on a kinesiology degree and an education degree. I did the practicum time, I spent time talking with phys ed teachers, working with them, seeing how they ran classes, and I spent as much time as I could working with students. In this time outside of university, I was really getting into health and fitness. After I graduated high school, I, I got motivated to go to the gym, and I started going every day, and I got really into this health and fitness lifestyle. I spent all my free time researching health and fitness, started taking the steps towards becoming a personal trainer, and in this time I was really influenced by people like 
Chris Jones and Elliot Holes, people who were fitness pioneers in their own field, working as, as entrepreneurs, breaking out of the system, doing what they wanted to do with their own life. And they documented it on YouTube so everybody could see their progress and you know, learn more about them. Every time Elliot Holes walked into his own gym named Strength Camp, I would get just so excited watching that and I would just dream of having that same life. When people would ask me the classic question, if you want a million dollars, what would you do with it? My answer was always, I'd build the gym, you know, because that became kind of like a dream lifestyle for me, something that I always wanted but didn't think was very realistic and everybody told me it was unrealistic. Being a teacher pays more, it's more stable, you have your summers off. But as I was learning more about myself, I, I learned that it really wasn't about the money for me. My life was about doing something that was going to make me happy every day. By my third year in university, I was starting to question my decision to be a PE teacher. Not because I didn't like the idea of being a PE teacher and having influence on kids' lives anymore. I was just starting to question the people that I was going to be working with every day. I could have influence in other ways, not necessarily just in high school with kids that didn't want to be there. I wanted to be a trainer and a gym owner and I want to meet new people all the time, new people coming in the doors all the time, start building relationships with my clients, spend more time getting to know people and, and understanding them and helping them work through their, their difficulties and their barriers, not spending all of my time and energy telling kids to get off their cell phones and to remember their gym clothes. I gained a new perspective through my experiences. I was also starting to question the potential that I was limiting becoming a PE teacher versus becoming somebody who was running their own business. This conflict was making me feel sick to my stomach and I was losing sleep over it every single day for the next couple of years. By my fifth year of university, I had decided that I was not going to continue my education degree. I was going to graduate with my kin degree and pursue the gym business. Once I came to term with not only my dreams, but who I am as a person, I was at peace. I was able to sleep again at night. Even though I'm creating my own path and diving into a sea of the unknown, I was happy. Since then, I've come across a lot of, I guess, mentors and people who have reassured me that I'm on the right path and make me excited every single day about this life I'm pursuing. This life of entrepreneurship and a chance at a life that I've always wanted. Now, I'm still young, but I've learned that there really is no path in life that is safe and secure. There are risks in life no matter what path you choose to go down. And if you're afraid of financial risk and you work at a job and you get by day by day, you know, and, and you, you're living a life without financial risk, you might just be getting by, but you might also be never really living the life that you wanted to live. I have not yet achieved all of my goals, but I've hit some milestones on the way that have reassured me that I'm on the right path for myself. If you're watching this and you're not really sure what you want to do with your life, be reassured because there is hope and the fact that you have lots of time. No matter what stage in your life you are, you have time. It took me five years in university and soul searching every day on the bus to and from school you know, soul searching before I went to bed to figure out what I really wanted. I went into university 100% certain that I was going to become a PE teacher and I left university 100% certain I was not going to be a PE teacher. But I learned so many valuable lessons along the way that I don't really regret the time that I spent in the classes I didn't need, just the money. All this personal growth is a result of me leaving my comfort zone, trying new things, meeting new people, and above all else, soul searching. Taking that time and, and the silence just to listen to yourself and what you're trying to tell yourself and channel into your feelings, you know, take that time to listen to yourself. This was the hardest decision that I have ever made, but it was also the best decision. Klaus next out.